These are blanky. This is the same. Show them the dirty gray one. Leg eater. And this is a brother to him. Look. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Almost look like Joe Goo Gray, don't we? Look at him. <laughs> and they're real healthy too, right, when you raise I'm them? I'm always happy chicken. That's what I like. But they're real healthy, huh? Yeah. They're real healthy. They say aces are real healthy, huh? They're just... They are. They're real healthy. Saludos a todos, señores. We'll go see sweaters and kiss. Oh, you got toppies now too, right? Yeah, Blakey does. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, good ones. Big toppies. Yeah, Bush got you on those? Huh? Bush got you on those? Yeah. <laughs> we cross them with sweater, not cow one, though. Okay. If we breed them, it's with sweater. aquí del rancho de ah el din que tiene todo conectado de, de gallos de, de, de dos líneas beautiful está con uh, Blake el hijo de ¿Sí? Blake Gray over here what, Blake Gray what are those ah it's the Blake Gray we made them 14 years ago for wow. Blake look at that tail that is beautiful. That's a picture rooster there. Right? It is a picture rooster. <laughs> wow. He's a pure one? No, he's a pure Blake Gray. That's a, that's a combination of Clemens and uh, Clemens and uh, sweater. Mostly sweater blood. They're, they're, I used to tell people it's a sweater with a gray wig. But they're 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 set as a family now. Yeah. Oh yeah. We set them 14 years ago. It's a sweater with a gray wig is what I tell people. Wow. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now when when it used to be legal, uh, these are aggressive, smart, a little strong, strong, a little aggressive, a little strong. They're not, they, they're strong, they're chickens. Game? Yes. Beautiful. I don't really, I, I, we don't raise anything that's not game that I know of, you know what I mean? No, Toppies? They're game. Really? Yes. yes, turn that off. No, I mean... Is it off? No, it's not, but it's fine. I mean, we're not talking about fighting. No. It's on. It's back on or off? It's on, it's on. I'm going to kill you. Uh, no, they are. It's another Blake Gray. The, your toppies come from Junior? Yes. The original. He gave Blake a pair about 14 years ago. No. Oh. He gave me a hand for a How many were you on 14 years ago? It was 10 years ago. One hand? And one... And one no, one. first he gave me a hand. I had to, he only raised two hands. And I had to go run it down and catch it. <laughs> There's a mean chicken. Then I got a rooster off in the next year. So you started your family off with those two, that hen and that rooster? Yep. And then we started with them too. This is a sweater. Young sweater. Is a pure sweater? Yeah. He's a young one. One sweater poodle? Mm -hmm. Now you were saying, how many different lines of sweaters do um, you have? What? Only, only uh, uh, different lines. I only have one family, and that's the 5K line family. But the different lines is where you breed, line breed to a different individual. Right. Or color, or different kind of qualities that you really like. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. Some of them call them Golden Boy. And, uh, but they're all from the 5K line. The cotton candies? They're all from the 5K line. And the cotton candy right over there. They all, they they all, all take a picture. They all came from the same... Yeah, same. this is on the Golden Boy line. This is the old bag cat line, right here. So they all come from the, in the possum line, is it different than the line? I don't have a possum line. The possum line, there was only one hen, she belonged to Carol. And he gave me two daughters of her in 89. Okay. And so, I mean, one hen was good producer, the other one produced too small. 
So I don't really have a line called a possum. I have chickens that carry that one hen's bloodline. Okay. But not a lot of it. You know what I mean? Okay. There was only one hen, and she was a sweater hen. And they called her possum because the possum tried to eat her. <laughs> that's the story about the possum line? That's, that's how she got her name. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, everybody's calling them possum sweaters, possum. She was just a sweater hen. You know what I mean? That's people call me, and I try to explain that to them. I say, hey. Unless you had that one hen forever, I mean, they, you can be. And people have people, that, I got a possum line. They call it. Uh, well, that's because it comes more of the cotton candy color or the golden line. You know what okay. I mean? The gold color. Okay. And they breed to that gold color, and they say, well, we got possum line. You know what I mean? So, There's cotton candy right there. You see them? Wow. All right. That's the one you had the poetry show the other day, right? Yeah. The one that Blakey's the one named them, my son. <laughs> And then they get him turned around. Blakey's the one that named them. How yeah. about keep on Dean Ferris, Nyotis? Blakey named him. He named that line. Wow. But he like colors, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm a collector like of feathers. Huh? I'm a collector of feathers. <laughs> no way. You got blues? There's a no wing and a blue. There's another. I said I was about to get me. There's another one of Blake Gray. Like a black gray. So you said this has 14 years ago as a family? Mm-hmm. Wow. Really beautiful. Ah, uh, Beautiful. Yeah, and then this one right here is a toppy. So half he, toppy? He's only half toppy or quarter. He might be a quarter. Yeah. I think that is a half over there. Yeah, I know that. That's now, my half-brood rooster. Here's an inbred toppy over here, half-brother and sister maybe. I need him to make the red one. I mean, we're trying to, uh, Blakey's trying to breed them where they come red. I got a few stags this year <laughs> out there. Red ones are red. They're just like that sweater there, but they have a little toppy on them. How'd you get that? Uh, just by that color? What? So that one came with a lot of red. This is, uh, now he, he's, old, he's got a lot of sweater blood in him, but come here, it makes him taller. Did you, did, you, did you ever add any, any sweater blood into them as a family? Mm -hmm. Did you bred it in, bred it out? Yeah, they bred it in, bred it out. Half brother and sister. Okay. And he throws red ones. And uh, look at the big thumb knot on him, though. Mm -hmm. I'll show you one up there that looks more like a, a straight flare. I see him up there like one of old Junior's old ones. Right. Way over there. We'll go look at him in a minute. And these are my, I really like these dark, well, these are dark sweaters right here because they had the $5,000 O-line in them and it had Stuart blood in them, which was a dark yellow leg hatch blood. Okay. The original $5,000 cock was half Stuart and half sweater. Oh, the original one? Yeah, he was half yellow leg and half sweater. Oh, wow. And this is great, great grandsons that come dark like this. You see them? And they come, we call them yellow legs, as most people do now because of the color, but they've got as much sweater as any chickens do. These come dark. These come to the dark side. They're bad boy. Mm -hmm. What is he? Uh, Blake, did he hurt a leg? No. Welcome to That's a Kelso rooster, but he ain't got no tail. Beautiful rooster. There's rooster. a red toppy right down there. Your Kelso's come white legged? All white legged? My Kelso's? No, they come yellow and white legged. This is a pure Clemens gray. This is the blood bred back to the, the gray side that makes Blake gray, and then the red side. Oh, so you have a, you have a green-legged side and a yellow-legged side? Yeah, not really, but the green-legged side is the last of the old blood okay. that we use. You don't have it as a family, the green-legged side? No, not yet. I could in one season, but I really don't like green-legged gray, but you'd be surprised people won't buy them for brood cops. You know what I mean? You can probably sell anything though. Yeah, this is a red toppy. Yeah. Oh wow. They ran over with the lawnmower. I did it. Red toppy. Beautiful. Where's that inbred one? Over here. Oh. The inbred to the junior side? Over here. There's a pure five year old cock right there that I'm not breeding. He's a what? That's a five-year-old broodcock. They are not breeding. They're the old blood, and they are very, very game. That's a golden line. He used to be more gold color. His sons are a lot of them. Bang it down by his Beautiful. That is a five-year-old cock. That's an old seven-year-old cock. 
His sons have been really good. Now, there's a line I got, and I ain't did nothing with it. That, good that's, a, that's, a, that's a dark light? No, that's a cleric. I've done nothing with that. I've had it for 10 years or 12, and those are good chickens, and I've done nothing with them. You, 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 you still got a family or no? No, I ain't even hardly bred them. There's enough to I keep think. them going. I you my son, the other rooster, the one in Arkansas. Okay. My son in Arkansas raised a lot of roosters. He sells, he raised five or 500. Same as mine, he comes up here and gets everything. How, he come, how come he moved to Arkansas? Huh? Why? Now, he's taller than uh, the old side because he got a little sweater blood in him. Tiny bit. Everything got a little sweater in him, but look at the eyes on him. Yeah, beautiful red eyes. Now, how important is our red eyes to you? I like red eyes, but we vaccinated this year for merits. That's so bad, that, and, it makes and, it turn and, yellow, kind of. It makes it turn light. So we won't have as many light eyes this year, but I don't do that. But every four or five years, I vaccinate for merits. Just four or five years? Yeah, not every not year. Not every year? No. We don't have merits here. It's too cold. But I do it. To, that way, when you ship them to Mexico, a few people do get it or in the Philippines. But that's not my fault because when they keep them a year and a half, two years, and they get it, that's yeah. not, you ain't nothing I can do. But we do vaccinate every five years from now. Okay. No, no more than that. It's a beautiful place. It's snow here? Huh? You oh, get snow? Colder than you can't believe that. <laughs> one time I got 21 below zero. Really? Actual temperature. Yes, I had one top of Birdcock, one of their daddies, he froze to death, sitting in the pen. Wow. Yeah. 20 billion. Well, any. one thing about it, if you read, in cold weather, merits can't live. Yeah. A lot of diseases can't live in cold that's weather. A, that's, that's a major problem in Mexico. Huh? That's a major problem in Mexico. Yeah. They can't live. There's more ACLs. We didn't put him up, he hurt a leg. Stuck on the we didn't get to show him because he was limping. Where, where are the clarets from? The clarets come, the cock, the hen came from Junior. The, uh, the daddy side came from a friend of mine in Ohio. Que la parte de Junior y parte de un amigo de Ohio. Mm. You're not going to sell it as a, as a family? Mm, no, not yet. Not yet? Uh, I'm tempted to this year to breed it into some sweater blood in it and then breed it back out. I've got a couple of clarets hens over there, but... And, uh... I inbred them, and I didn't like the real inbred clarets. Line bred ones. Right. They're a little weaker. Health-wise or what? Huh? Health-wise or power-wise? Health-wise and stuff. You just too inbred? Yeah. They need, I need to add a little sweater blood to them or toppy or something to beat it back out. <laughs> These are bad boys right there. Yeah, beautiful. The American shows or anything. Beautiful. They're not the most beautiful chickens here, but they're, they're a good ones. Well, you know what? I'll tell you one thing. Nobody wanted toppies, but then Bush started winning in Mexico. Uh, no, now everybody, everybody wants toppies. Wants toppies. I had three people call me last week. They all want to know if I sell them a pure toppy. I said, I don't have no pure ones. All mine have sweater blood in them. They, they all got a little bit of sweater. But you bred it, you bred it out, didn't you? Yes. Okay. All mine. But do you sell pure stuff or no? Do you sell pure toppies or no? I mean, no, I don't have any. I only got two. Maybe once every three years when we breed them pure, maybe four. How come you don't be, breed them pure? I do, I uh, do, but they're hard to look at when you line breed them. <laughs> they get real short. Yeah. Huh? They get big. We, sold, we raised some last year pure ones. I kept two and I sold about three or four last year. Well, you have no, to... I don't have any, and I don't plan on bringing que... them pure again for another no? three or four years. Que los topios casi no, no, no los cría puros. My casi... son breeds them pure. Yep. Eh, el, hijo, el hijo de si los tiene. Your son has got them pure? My son, yeah, he's got toppies and sweaters and gray there. El, el hijo de él de Arkansas, él se tiene toppies puros. I'm going to give you his phone number, so you put that in the magazine. And he, and he has beautiful chicken. In fact, he raised that one right there. How old's your boy? He raised that he's one. He's 35. Gray. He's been around chickens all of his life, huh? He raised the gray big tail, didn't he? Yeah. So why he moved to Arkansas? He, he lives. He likes Arkansas. But he's got he's got that. He lived there before we lived here. Yeah. He raised that big tail, Blake Gray. I give him the mom and the daddy. But he comes up here and gets what he wants. He's my son. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean?
Yeah. He comes up here and says, I want to borrow that brute cop. Because his son is going to believe the same as he is. He will take what he wants here in the cementales. If you want animals, Dink doesn't have it yet. He has all the contacts with all the animals of two lines. He doesn't have it yet. But his son still has it yet. Do you know how much his son gets for the cross ones? The cross chickens? Yes, sir. Like 200 for... 200. Mm -hmm. And you get uh, los, los cementales, de, bueno, los tríos de, de Dink son 1,350. I'm his number. They can talk to him. You know, that's his business, and it depends on how many they buy. You know how that goes. Saludos, okay. Robert. Here's Kevin's number. Se llama Kevin Shackleford. That's his name, but he's my son. Es 727-804-7972. Ese teléfono de, 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 de su hijo. Yeah. So, alguien quiere hablarle y, y, y porque, el, if you have the pure top, it's pure, right? He does. Okay. He raised more pure ones than I do. Él crea un poquito más puro de, de que, que Dink, de los puros, de los uh, topis puros y sueros puros. I mean, he's got left, but he does have some. I told him to send me four bullets. That's where I'm going to get four bullets from. Wow. You know, he's a good breeder too. Good selector, you know what I mean? That's what it's about, right? Nah. Uh, Selection's a, a... Yeah, he knows what he's doing. You know, he's been around me since he was two years old. What, what part of Arkansas is he from? He's from uh, Magnolia. Magnolia. It's Magnolia. But it's, it, the name of his town's smaller, but it's outside Magnolia. Este... No, trae un poquito de suelo a los patas amarillas, señores. Uh, so you have, you have all the all the cross stacks are they're, they're contracted out already, right? What, mine? Yes, sir. Oh, I don't have any cross stacks. Kevin may have some. Right? Okay. <laughs> we'll go over here and I'll show you. I sold out already. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I go got get... some toppies, but I'm keeping those. <laughs> Right. I'm I'm going, I'll get you in a minute, Blake. All righty. We'll, we'll start doing the interview right there. Yeah. We'll you guys come back over there. You guys just go have fun doing it. Oh, yeah. Wait, you don't be in it? Yeah, later. Yeah, he's going to be in it later. You guys got still got all this to do. Okay. Can we go to the corner? i got to get my battery. Please. Yeah. Blake, open the gate. <laughs> he's got a brother to these. My roof cops right there. Me too. Kevin does. He's got everything I got. <laughs> You know, the other day we were at the party show, when I when I saw you, uh -huh. you know, how you raise the boys, you know, it, 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 that's your responsibility. Yeah. I saw your boy, he, um, you know, the, 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 the poultry show was over, he got a bag and started cleaning up after, you know, around the area. Oh, yeah. Nobody told me to do it. I said, that's a lot, of, says a lot about you, how you raise your boy, you know? University. What you gonna be your major? Uh, biochemistry. Oh god, you're a smart boy. Yeah. Kind of. Huh? Yeah. You got horses too? Uh, horses? Yeah. That was my property when you pulled in the road. Right? Yeah. 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 Go the whole way back. I'll go see. Los tres van a mi 350. Thank you, hold on. Thanks, sir. Did you get a video of the house? Yes, sir. What, the battery? Yeah, the battery. I can drive back there. I'll drive down there. Pretty good, that was my cup. That was my cup.
Daniels, 313, 315. Uh, did you get some mean roosters? Yeah, which ones are, I mean, is that just jeans or? I mean, the jeans, a lot of them, especially when you breed them. They, I mean, some, some mean, you think they're crazy, but when you have to, you breed them. You take your time, got patience, three or four days, you can have them. Creo que si, los reyes son bravos, y que algunos si salen bravos, pero que los pueden manzar. ¿Tú qué perro, though? Do you have any trills right now? Huh? You don't have any trills right now? No. Sold out? Yeah, or they, or they not sold out in January. Okay, and then they vendieron todo. So you will have any to what, October? We have anything for sale until October. Hasta Arturo va a ver pollo, señores. Compañeros, este, ahí les va un comercial. Eh, todos estos videos que yo hago son para ustedes, por, para ayudar a la gente, para que aprendan más de la crianza, aprendan de, de diferentes creadores. Este, échenme la mano, apóyenme con los, con, comprándome mis productos. Ahorita tengo uno especial, en la compra de dos docenas, se gala una botana. Este, yo, yo, yo eso, yo lo hago con mi bolsa. Es un placer hacer estos videos, pero también este, pues hay gastos, entonces ahí sí les... Les, really, really, really. Es beautiful. Yeah. Les encargo que me echen la mano con. We raise close to 400 a year. That's it. Yeah, that's plenty. 400 and they're going. Les, ahí les encargo que me echen la mano con las compras. Yeah. Ahorita tenemos su. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, the daddy is there. No, I ain't the daddy is there. This is the daddy is the red one. This is the <laughs> I got 10 of them. Half yeah, that's a pure Asia? That's half sweater, right? Yeah, that's right. It's a pure one? That's the daddy. That's a pure one? That's the daddy. That's the daddy. That's the daddy. Ah, compañero, también tenemos ahorita una, una rifa para que me eche la mano. Nadie, no, pero he probado three dollars. Trece docenas, cinco botanas, dos cubiertas, tres gorras, este, cuarenta dólares, o siete, 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 cincuenta pesos. 750 pesos, una rifa, va a ser el sábado. Échenme la mano, compañeros, y, y por inbox, ahí este, compren un boleto. Este, that's a pure topic. Kevin sent him to me. Hey, un... Kevin sent me a pure topic. He sent me that one. It's beautiful. <laughs> Big one, Nara, he said, huh? You think it's beautiful? Well, beauty is an eye and behold you, right? I guess. Kevin raised that one. They're small, huh? They are small. He has a big one small. He sent me one, but it was too big and I killed it. So he said, I don't small one. It's the same blood as mine. I gave him the mama, the daddy, and, you know, of everything. Does he raise a pure one? Me and Blakey. Yeah, he likes to raise a few pure ones. I don't know how many more he's going to raise. He raised that one. Me and Blakey raised two over here. What's your, what's your boy's name? The one, Blake. No, the other boy. Kevin. Kevin? Blake raised this topping. They don't have quite a big a top now, but they're not bad. Little mean, watch them. Mine's got, mine has just a little bit more sweater blow than it. You can stop it, take a little bit of a sweater. Uh, so your sons are... Yeah, yeah, just a little dab of sweater. Man. Your sons, they're pure, pure? Are these for sale? No. No? I just brought them to show you. I told you I only had three. I got that one, this one, and this one, and actually two more, and that's it, and two cocks. That I bred. I may sell one of the cocks next year that I bred. Dice que estos no están pero a lo vende uno. A lo vende uno. There's a daddy of these stags right here. I want to see first. What is he? 
think there's a daddy there. There's a there's a toppy sweater right there. And uh, their daddy's up there. I got two of them. I'm gonna, I may sell one of them. Keep the pollos. Okay, I'm going to one of those. How much will he be? You got any AC for sale? No, that's it. No, I don't have anything for sale. We're going to build a body on this one. I don't have a good camera. There's a stag for you. Wait a minute, now he's half sweater. I hope he's a good one. I would, I'd like to make a line with just a, it, I'd it. like to make a line with just a dab of sweat ACL in it. But they gotta try them first. See if yeah. they're good. They're beautiful. Yeah. They got good nature. They're happy chickens. Yeah. And the toppies are too, but they get a little mean, but they're happy. Here's another. There's another toppy we raised right there. That's me and Blakey raised that one. Kevin raised that one over there. Look at them toppies. They're happy too. You see them dragging them wings. I think your, your phone's on. Probably is. Oh, it's about time now. Huh? What is he? Toppy. See the top knot on the back? But he, Kelso? Toppy with a little Kelso on him, yes sir. Toppy, half Toppy. Made that Toppy with a Kelso. Yeah. I got 44 of them, or 42, 40. We're gonna keep 35, I think. Pure sweater? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See those are stags, I just kept them. Look, watch for boot cops, you know what I mean? Right. I sold a lot of brothers to them. And I'm gonna see how he molts out, how much stress he goes in when he's molting. I don't like chickens with stress bad. When they molt, shed their feathers. Right. I don't like them, they shrink up, they get scared. But some breeds do that, don't they? I know, but I don't like it. Not on my farm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I understand. Not if I'm gonna work every day out there seven days a week, look at my hands. Yes, and I'm sir. 70 years old, wow. and I work every day. <laughs> see that? Keep you strong. Huh? Keep you strong and healthy. Well, you see them look right there, don't you? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah. I do it because I love it, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Dice que él trabaja porque le gusta, que él no ocupa trabajar ya, pero le gusta trabajar, lo mantiene sano. Tiene 70 años el Dink. I'm sorry? Some of mine will even lose their health when they moat, you know what I mean? And he's gonna be mean to you being gentle. What is he? This is pure sweater. You don't wanna bang it when you're babies. Yeah, I'll send you old top. I could go with a moon for you. The what? What they call golden boy? Yes, sir. Make them. Come on, golden color. That's the money color. Everybody loves that color. You know, I I, I, I went to a breeder one time. Yeah. I won't I won't mention her name, but uh, she said that she could have two brothers, one lemon hack and one dark one. Mm -hmm. Mexico will come over with the spar the roosters, and the dark one will be the crap uh, lemon hack and the still one the lemon hack. <laughs> The money color, you know what I mean? <laughs> the money color? Yeah, the money color. Golden color. Yeah. Dice que todo el mundo quiere animales amarillos. There's another golden ACL over there. They got good station for ACLs, don't they? Yeah. There's another sweater. Which is the golden boy? The light color ones like that. It's the golden boy from here. Now, okay, so different lines. You have the golden boy. Well, they're all the same line, but they're all cousins. They're all yeah, related. So this is the golden boy line. Yeah. And which other one do you have? You had the cotton candy line and the dark line. 
the dark line over there, and then you got just the regular bad cat line, which is like them right there. ¿Qué tiene que esto? ¿Qué son los Golden Boy? Like Esos son los de 20 mil dólares line, línea de 20 mil dólares, que se llaman así, así les ponen el nombre. Tiene los cotton candy, que son los más blancos, y tiene los dark side, que son los que traen un poquito más yellow lay hash. The dark ones have a little more yellow lay hash in them, or? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, Not really? Dark color. Just coming to the dark color side. Okay. Like the original. See the original. Five thousand dollar cup to quite a few dark ones. Dice que el gallo original de cinco mil este eran. So the original cock was half yellow leg, half sweater, right? Yeah. Que el, el, el gallo original de cinco mil era Carol mitad. Carol Neesmith raised that rooster, not me. Carol Neesmith raised that rooster, and I borrowed him from Carol. Me and Carol were fighting in 1989 together, and I borrowed that five thousand dollar cock, two dollars of the possum hen, and then another. Another sweater hen, and that's what all. And then I had sweaters from a man named Freddie Hunter. Okay, dice que él tenía, este, Carol tenía un gallo que era mitad suero, mitad yellow leg hatch. Um, él lo agarró. So you 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 got that the half yellow leg hatch sweater from Carol. I borrowed him for you, one year. Lo agarró por un año, and then you bred him onto the possum sweaters, right? Possum, then to my sweater blood, which came from Freddie Hunter. Se cruzaron unas gallinas possums y otros gallos que de un tío que se llama Hunter. And that's where you got the line from. Yeah, well, my sweaters came from Freddy, who was a friend of Sweater McGinnis's. He had the original sweaters, too. They came white and yellow-legged. Oh, que los, que los, los sweaters originales de, de Sweater McGinnis este, venían patas blancas y, y patas amarillas. Ellie Harold Brown. So Sweater McGinnis and Harold Brown were the original. Well, Harold had the got the original chickens, I think, from Ted McClain, the way I understand the story. Now I wasn't there. Then Sweater McGinnis and uh, <laughs> Ted McClain. They went to Harold's. I'm trying to think of the backer's name, the guy that had the money. Percy Flowers. And they went to buy chickens from Harold Brown for the St. Augustine tournament, which was a big, big thing back then. And they bought these yellow leg chickens over Harold Brown. Que fueron el Pierce, que es uno un jugador grande que fue a comprar unos gallos a Harold Brown, unos patamarillas. They took them and won the Derby and ganaron el Derby. The tournament. It was a tournament, twelve cock. Okay. They won that, and so they went back to Harold to buy all the brood stuff. Que fueron con Harold a comprar todos la todos los cementales. And Harold told them it came from Sweater, it came from Ted McLean, who got them from Sweater McGinnis. Y dijo Harold que venían de Ted McLean, que lo agarró de Sweater McGinnis. Okay. Pretty much that story like that. And I think they they might have bred, I don't know how they bred them. I, I've heard different stories how Ted McLean done it. But I'm what, not, what have you heard? I heard that they put Roundhead in uh, the McLean hatches. Que estamos viendo que bread to the yellow leg it's they come que, half yellow leg half white. Que lo originalmente los suelos se hicieron de un gallo un, un gallo que hace ronda con gallinas Ranger was hatch yeah, con las con, bread, la, con they las hatches to the yellow leg side and back to the hatch side the green leg side. Y que este ya se fueron con la la línea amarilla pata amarilla y ahí se fueron los suelos. To this day you'll still get a green legged sweater pole. Que dice hasta el día de hoy a veces te salen gallos este gallos este pata verde de las Gene Battier gives them, everybody gives them. They had the original sweaters back then, Carol, all of them. Well, you, what's his name? He's got the green legged light, green legged sweaters, he calls them. Who's it, Gene Battier? No, not Gene Battier. Um, Who? I don't know that guy. Uh, from Alabama, right there near, near Gene. Uh, what's his name? Name Gene Brown. Uh, the guy who does a, the, the barbecue every year. The what you mean? The barbecue. Oh, Slick Lizard. Slick Lizard. He's got the green legged sweaters. Yeah, they came, he had them from Carol, too, the original blood. He okay. got them from Carol. But see, mine are different from all of them because mine were bred to the Freddie Hunter family. I only had that cock for one year and that one good hen, and then I made all mine by breeding back to entonces, the Freddie Hunter side. Entonces, lo, los gallos de él son diferentes que los de Carol, le, que los de, de los de Slick Lizard, porque los de él vienen de con el Hunter, la línea de Hunter, con el gallo de Carol. Like, you know, possums. So where did Hunter get him from? He got him from Tim McLean? Uh, Freddie Hunter was a good friend of Sweater McGinnis. Oh, era muy amigo de Sweater McGinnis. Friend. Oh, amigo personal. And he, got him from, he got him from Sweater. Okay, wow. And so, and he was a friend of mine. He lived in Arkansas. Okay. And he, he liked me. He was an old man, and he liked me. I was a young man in my 20s, and he liked me a lot. Okay. 
and, and he let me have this sweater chicken that he had. They came white and then yellow legged. And then, so all of mine had very little Carol's blood left in them because okay. that was what? 1989 is how long ago? So, how long ago was it? Yeah, 89. Uh, 99. 30 years ago? Huh? 30 years? Yeah, well, 30 years ago. So, I mean, and I have not got another chicken back from him or nobody else. I've just kept breeding my own because yeah, I know what they are. So, you had it for a year? Que se cayó mano tuvo un año nomás le 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 But I had two sis I had two hens that were bred like his sister and I bought them two from Carol and I bred them like that. So I had to, and I took the cock back, the hens back and one trio back to Carol. Okay. And then uh, so all mine are bred more to, to my side and okay. uh, to my side, you know. Dice que él tuvo se cayó un año nomás lo de el Carol el 5000 y este los le metió la metió la sangre y la volvió a sacar. And the only blood of Carol that I really got in mine is that five thousand dollar cow. Okay. Because I didn't maintain the possum line. No. The possum hen line. I didn't maintain that. I didn't like it. They weren't healthy enough. You know. Okay. So that's what mine are. So you know what I mean. Bueno, pues aquí estamos con señor Dean Fair haciendo una entrevista. Ahorita hemos ido a la casa a hacer una entrevista ya más a fondo. Ahorita tenemos Estamos viendo aquí nomás los gallos aquí este, chaleando un poquito, pero ahorita vamos a hacer una entrevista más, más al fondo, muchachos. Recuerden, estas entrevistas son para ustedes, compañeros. Yo con gusto las hago. Écheme la mano con, la, con las ventas. Ahorita tengo una especial. En la compra de dos docenas, regalo una botana. Este, venir para acá es viajar por avión, rentar carro, hoteles, y es costoso. Yo, no les pido, yo más les pido que me echen la mano con las ventas. Tengo la especial ahorita. Tenemos una rifa de eh, 40 dólares. There's the daddy of them over there. That's the first rooster that old man sent us. Oh, that. I like that one down there, man. This is the one I picked. I went to his house and he told me to pick one, so I picked this one. This is a, es un asil puro que agarró el mijito. Sure, I see. Oh, it's from wow. that. It's from that. That's the daddy of them ones that you were catching over there, the black gray. Huh? That's the puro. daddy of them black gray. No aces for sale then, right? Nah, I don't have any aces for sale. I'm going to send one to Kevin. Mine got, see, I picked him, they got good eyes. <laughs> He's the daddy of that. The, the ones you see over there. Beautiful in an ugly way. Huh? Beautiful in an ugly way. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> white and the tail, golden color. I, I take this one, that's my favorite color, huh? Yeah. Hey guys, I, um... I said in Spanish already. I do these interviews for you guys. Uh, it's all for to help out the new cockers. Um, but um, the only thing I ask from everybody is for you guys to support me with my sales, my products of all the collectibles. Right now we have two dozen collectibles, and you get the you get the free uh, boot. The boots worth 100, 150 dollars. So any info, call me, uh, send me an inbox message. Like I said, um, going out here costs money. Pay hotel, rent of cars, uh, airplane tickets. The only thing I ask is you guys support me with uh, buying my products. Now, come on, these are my bread cups. The ones that bred this year. Aquí es la área de cementales de el Dink. Porque que el 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 este el uso. This is your this is your personal blue sock. These are the ones that bred this. These are for sale, right? <laughs> Not yet. Got to see if I replace them. You know what I mean? Look at that kill set. Right there. Wow. That's in case of puro. That's his brother right over there. And they come two different colors, the lemons, and they come that dark color people call them the brownies. Now, I, I saw another interview. We'll oh, talk about that right now. Where, the, where they come from, they come from Jumper, right? Yes, years ago. That's a beautiful rooster right there. I know, that's his brother. This is hermano, esta preciosa, esta pinche que son. Como ven, compañeros, que eres un puro pata blanca. Beautiful rooster. Jesus. Huh? Look at that sweater. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this sweater. Huh? There's probably more sweaters than anything. Look at that sweater. That's a yellow leg gilder right there. That golden color one. Man, 
Remember, these are my sweaters, and here's them. I'll show you some golden. We go up the hill, and don't forget them golden ones are down okay, there. Okay, we'll come back to the My bread. The money color is the golden. This is a gray? Yeah, that's a Blake, Blake gray? gray, yeah. Se llama Blake Ray, los, los hizo Blake hace 14 años. So, uh, Blake, uh, were well, you and Blake made him 14 years ago, right? Yeah. Same as a family now, right? Yeah. And that's one of your original uh, Gray family? The Green yeah, Legacy? Yeah. That's what we started with, that family. Y esos son los, los, esos son, ya se hizo una familia. Su huerto con Ray, ya son la familia, se llaman los Blake Grays. Y estos, what are these, Dink, what do you call them? Uh, uh, uh. Same in the good. Those, uh, an old man in Mississippi that I actually got the original blood from, believe it, Gustavo Sanchez. The oh, original really? cock, yeah. Que la línea viene de, de, originalmente de Gustavo Sanchez. Sanchez. The original wow. cock about uh, 15 years ago. He's a hell of a breeder, right? Oh, yeah, Gustavo. He, he breeds the same thing I breed. And plus radios and other things. There's another sweater cock. What a sweater? The yes. Others? There's another one over there. So you raise about 90% sweaters, right? Yeah, 90% anyway. A lot of grays, a lot of sweaters. Casi puro giro y sweater, lo que, lo que quería, Don Dink. That's a beautiful sweater right there. This is a 5,000 limbred. His daddy was eight years old. That's what they call that buttermilk color. His daddy was one of the original grandsons of the $5,000 cop. His daddy was eight years old when I bred him. Oh, ven, como yo sé, sé. Eso se lo voy a pedir yo a él para que me lo regale con eso. They're asking if uh, that's my gift. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't have but two of them. <laughs> I can't give him away yet. Maybe soon. Dice que a mejor me lo regala. A mejor me lo regala. Me lo regala. Actually, that's a golden right there. You see how? It's a golden. Yeah. And that was a golden too. Not that. They're yeah. cousins. This is a. That, this one's bred more for that gold yellow color. Money this, color. Uh, that one right there is bred like this one with that 5K and that big cap. Esos son los golden. Ese que viene aquí es de los 5Ks. Yeah, right there. Yeah. They're all 5K, but this one goes back. That one goes back to the old eight-year-old cock, that one over there. Got some station on there, right? Yeah. I needed him to breed to my hands to put the legs up a little bit, but he's a little too narrow built for Mexico, but... I needed some taller pork, so there's a reason I bred him, you know. That's more for, for Philippines? Yes. Uh -huh. So, uh, you bred him because you wanted a taller? Taller pullet. Este lo, lo, se le hace un poquito grande, alto, pero de que lo agarró ese porque para darle un poquito más, este, más altura a sus, a sus animales para, para las Filipinas. Yeah. Por eso lo hizo. He's a bad, bad boy, too. That was the toppy coffee I gave the daddy of those stags over there you were looking at. This is outstanding. Top Be right beautiful. Here. Oh, yeah, but he's got a lot of sweater blood in him. He's for line breeding. And those are two pure coffee over there, almost pure. That's a soon sweater. Those are the daddy of those. Oh, he's come wild like it, though. I know it. See he's the Kelso? Got, he's got sweater blood in him. Sweater? The toppies produce white legs. When you breed them to a sweater, they come white and yellow legged. Now your kettle's got a little bit of sweater blood in it too, right? Yeah, that's it. And then this one right here. These are the daddy those stags over there, and those stags got bigger top knots than their daddy. And their stag, these are almost pure, and those stags over there are just half. You're, you're, you're real good friends with uh, Junior, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that original blood there came from Junior. Que la original de sangre de original de de Topi viene de con Junior. This is a stag I bred last year, a sweater stag. Compañero, hoy ya tenemos un un arifo también donde pueden escoger 13 docenas. Cinco botanas, dos cubiertas, cinco gorras, o un trío de uh, Jorge Vázquez, Jason Daniel, este, Roberto Ramírez y ¿quién más? Y Jeff Hospes. Se puede escoger de las, de las navajas o el trío. Con 750 pesos o 40 dólares, compañeros. 
<laughs> Guys, I have right now a, a raffle going on right now. You get a trio from Roberto Ramirez, Jeff Huskis, uh from Cedar Creek, Roberto Ramirez, and Jason G Daniel. You get to pick, or you get to pick six dozen of collectibles, three boots, uh, two scabbards, and a couple hats. All for 40 bucks. Those are Kelsos. This is a Kelso. That's the Kelso behind you right there. Beautiful. Now they come lemon, they come dark. That dark one right down there is a full brother. You got a set of two families? I got to breed dark to dark, light to light, and then I bring them back together again. So they come light and dark, you know what I mean? But you don't That's keep the way the original roosters came. They were three, four, four light colored ones and one dark one. But you don't keep them separate just to keep them, keep them fresh? No, I just breed them back to one each other. Okay. You could, but I, I figured if that's what comes out, why not put it back? You know what I mean? Right. I don't want to change it that bad, but you could breed it in three years. You could have any coming the way you want. Right. Three years? Mm-hmm. Es que lo, lo que es bien, bien, bien morado, bien morados, también bien este, alimonados. No. That's when the Kelsos come yellow-legged, but he's about five years old. How much are your hands? Two, uh, three, two, 275, right? 375 for a pullet. 375? For a pullet. No, for, okay, uh, for pullet, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Tres, mean, 335 I don't have dollars? I hens for sale because we sell out every year. All my brood hens are in pens by themselves down there. You gotta raise more chickens, dude. No, I'm old man. I can't raise no more. <laughs> have your boy raise some. Ah, uh, Kevin's trying to. But Blake. Blake is going to college. He ain't gonna have time. Que ya está viejo, Dink dice. Man, you're stronger than me, Dink. What are you talking about? If I get ready to retire, somebody will take over. Is that the sweater? There's another sweater. God, that's a beautiful rooster right there. Huh? What, 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 what uh, line is he? That's a 5K line. It's a sweater of 5,000. Now, why they call it five 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 thousand line? That's it. Five K line. But why did they call it five K line? Because Carol, when he fought uh, back when it was legal fighting at Sunset. Yes, sir. Jim Ken offered him five thousand dollars for that rooster. He won a pitting like that in the sport. Uh, and Carol turned it down. Well, he loaned the rooster the jumper because he weighed almost six pounds. He's a big rooster, weighed almost six pounds. Jumper bred him to radios, and the chickens out of them was phenomenal. I we went down there, me and Carol went down there, and I said, Jumper, let's spar the stags out of that big old crop. I started tipping the pins up, and Jumper didn't ever spar. Boy, these chickens went up near, do, 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 like that. I said, let's do more. And we did about 15, 20, it was all good. But wow. I then made a deal with Carol that I was borrowing that cop right. that, the next year. He was going, I was going to borrow him. Right. You know. And he done let me, he done made a deal with me, let me use him. So I bred him the next year, and I took him back to Carol, who took him back to Jumper. Okay. And then Jumper bred him again, and then took him back to Carol, and I think he got killed in a pin fight or something. Dice que ese gallo lo jugó Carol y que alguien le ofreció cinco mil dólares por ese gallo. Y que no lo quiso vender, entonces este... So, uh, Carol se lo prestó a, a Dean Fair. Y luego se lo prestó a, a Jumper. So that rooster went from Carol to, to Jumper. To me. To you. Back to, back to Carol and then back to Jumper. Que se cayó. And then back to Carol. Se fue de con Carol a, a Dink, a Jumper, a Carol. Y otra vez para con, con Dink otra vez. Carol was the owner, was the guy that owned him. He let Jumper borrow him. He let me borrow him. And then he borrowed him. And what was he? Yeah. It was a, a sweater. Half Stewart. And how oh, that's the one you're talking about. You got it for a year. Okay. Ese gallo que él tenía tuvo un año. Que de ahí vienen los cinco mil. So my, that's a beautiful one over there. These are all beautiful, Ruth. Compañeros, todavía quedan este números disponibles para rifa. Look at this boy. 750. There. And like I said, mine all carry that old cog's blood and, uh, and the blood, original sweater blood that I had in the 80s. Wow, beautiful. And so, they're not, you know, they're not bred like nobody else. Uh, you know, Joe Sanford orders trios for me all the time. And him and, and Jerry, I guess he, he lets, what's his name, have them. 
That's a golden boy right there. That's just a color. He's the same as the rest of them, but that's the golden color. You know what I mean? That's the money color. So all, all, all your cross stacks are all contracted out? No, yes, sir. Right now. Que todos los pollos están vendidos. Uh, how many trills do you have available in, in, in uh, come October? Uh, we need to sell about 100 trills a year. Que tiene como 100 trills en venta en octubre. You, you take uh, deposits? Uh, take deposits? No, not until, not until October. Que no, no puede mandar depositos. And then we usually, and then we, we usually sell out by about January. Que dicen so I'm que... only going to keep the very choice of stags. I only send the choicest ones for trills and the choice of pullets. I promise you. Let's go look at the baby yard. Yes, sir. Yeah, of course. Dice que no toma depósitos. Abre en octubre. No más. Only in October. I start shipping in October. Que en octubre empieza a mandar y empieza. And so does Kevin. Don't forget Kevin. Kevin, Kevin también este empieza a vender en octubre. Kevin raised that big tail gray up there. Dice Kevin, Kevin también. Él sí vende cruzados y él tiene un poquito más. Él tiene topis puros. You have the top, the pure topis, right? Kevin will have, I don't won't have no pure ones in this year. Este, no va a tener pure puros, pero su hijo Kevin en en Arkansas sí sí va a tener este topis puros, pues ahí le interesa. El número 6. No entiendo, señor Freddy. Ah, eh, manden un inbox para rifas, señores. Manden un inbox. Eh, les voy a recordar, compañeros, que esto lo hago por el amor al arte, porque me gusta y porque me gusta apoyar a la gente. Lo único que les pido, compañeros, es que me echen la mano y compren mis productos. Salir para acá es caro. Ahí es pagar este hoteles, eh, avión, carro de renta. Lo único que les pido es que me apoyen con este, comprando mis productos, compañeros. Ahora tengo una rifa ahorita. Tengo una rifa y aparte tengo una especial. En la compra de dos docenas, regalo una botana. Mira qué chula este pinche gallo. Gorgeous. Este lo, lo crió este Kevin. El, el hijo. And I think he's out one of my old five k cocks. This guy is gorgeous. Wait over there. I'll go get it. Wait here, I'll go get it. Uh, guys, um, for the English speakers, we're doing a tour of uh, Dink Ferris Farm. We're going to do an interview, a uh, real deep interview on his lines. Um, I do this for free, guys. I, I, it's a pleasure doing this for you guys, for all the cockers. I'm going to start going to different farms. Um, the only thing I ask for you guys is to support me buying my products. Right now I got a special. You buy two dozen of collectibles, you get a free boot. The boot's worth $100 and $150. You get that for free. So if you guys can, support me and, uh, and buy some products. Uh, señor Tino, quedan varios, varios números. Quedan, este, ahí, ahorita le mando un inbox, por favor. Uh, creo que 200, señor José. Ahorita le paso su número, mando un inbox y le paso su número de él. Para que le hable usted. El trío vale 1350. Uh, Víctor, te saludos, tendrán venta. Este, Frankie Morales, él. Eh, eh, Ding tiene en octubre, gallos. También este, Kevin también tiene en octubre. A ver, una subasta no estaría mal. La subasta ya la hice una vez y no, y no, la gente no nos jala, la verdad. Este, muchas gracias, don Carlos Hernández. Estamos para civiles. Como les digo, yo eso, eso, a mí me gusta hacer esto, me gusta ayudar a la gente que está empezando, porque yo una vez yo fui también gallero principiante. Esto es para los galleros principiantes y para los también con, con experiencia. Como les digo, nomás les, les digo que me apoyen con, comprando mis productos. Compren mis productos y échenme en la mano, porque ahorita estamos en pluma y hay muchos, hay muchos, hay muchos gastos. Okay.
Don't ever have to mow your lawn. I'm not your normal Mexican. I don't work much. I'm just kidding. I got high school boys that got me work. Yeah, I'm high school hours a day. They help me move me in for the water. Este, ahí está una topi, una gallina topi. Eh, Dick no tiene venta los topis puros, pero su hijo Kevin sí los tiene. Pues si alguien quiere topis puro, pone a hablar con Kevin. ¿Qué es eso? Sí, pero no quiero decir ahora, Claret. Claret. Tengo un gran gallo, pero no tienen un Claret en ellos todavía. They come white. I mean, almost white and. and uh, which one? Why a different color? That's she just like her. She got sweater blood in it. Okay. She's an old one. Beautiful. She's the mama of those two roosters up there. I told you, me and Blakey raised. Es la mamá de los dos gallos que están allá arriba. The two toppy roosters. Se llama Kevin, el hijo. Kevin se llama. Ahorita les paso un número de teléfono. Ahorita manden un inbox. El que quiera saber el teléfono de él y se lo manden por inbox. La verdad, este Don Dick se está pasando muy bien conmigo. Muy humilde, señor. Me, este, me está pasando muy bien. Me recibió muy bien. Mi respeto para el señor. Ahorita mándenme un inbox, señores, y les doy el paso número de Kevin. Ahorita lo que vamos a hacer... My baby yard is almost... Uh, probably 10 or 15 hectáreas. Tiene 15 hectáreas de, de pollos. Ahorita vamos a, a terminar este video de ver la, la pollada ahí atrás. Y luego voy a cortar el video y vamos a hacer otro video uh, con la pura entrevista de él. Ya sentados los dos, este, hablando ya. Usted también puede preguntar lo que, te, lo que ustedes quieran, muchachos. Sí, tiene. You got a Facebook, right? A what? You got a Facebook? No. Kevin does. You don't? I, don't. I saw your Facebook. No, no, no. It's not me. It's a monster. That's not for me. Really? Yeah. I don't tweet, I text very little. Eh, and I don't like to talk on the phone very much. Sin fair, dice que no le gusta hablar mucho por teléfono, no, no testea mucho. Y no tiene Facebook. No. Si, los que están en el Facebook que dicen Dick Fair son impostores. The no only, se dejen transear. The only one that I know is on Facebook is Kevin, my son. Uh, Kevin, uh, he advertises under Kevin Shackleford. Shackleford? Shackleford. Shackleford? Yeah, my, his, my wife was married, but her husband got killed when he was like two years old. Se, se llama, my wife. Se llama uh, Kevin Shackleford. Yeah. Pero el Dean Ferro no tiene Facebook, compañeros. No. Para que no se vayan a engañar. I no know. voy a mandar dinero a la, ahí. Hablen por teléfono. Ahorita les paso el número de teléfono de Dean Ferro. Pero no tiene nada hasta octubre. And I don't text much. And I know I text a little. And I don't like to talk a long time on the phone. <laughs> mucho tiempo de portar, I work ¿no? every day, look. Que trabaja, ya no trabaja todo el día. No, 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 Electricidad. Oh, dos mil. Wow. Dos mil electricidad. Ahí tienen un. Ahí 
tipo unos toquecitos. Have you ever accidentally touched that? Yeah, knocked me out one time. Knocked you out? Yeah, he'd be on the ground too. What happened? I didn't even remember. Wow. Oh yeah. How'd I you had, touch it? I had one friend at a pacemaker set it off in his heart. Boom, boom, boom. He had to go to the hospital. Wow. I mean, because you got it here for us? Huh? I mean, because you got a woods? Right here for the babies, all the way down to there. You todo see, eso, plumb around. Todo eso es and puro bosque para la pollada. Probably about uh, 10 hectares. 10 hectares de puro 20 bosque. Acres. 20 acres. Tiene aquí 150 hectáreas. You got her, you got her chained up? No, uh, the dog? Yeah. No, he won't bite you. If I'm with you, he won't bite you. Skin problems though, huh? Yeah. Now we're gonna see them, they look better. Down here, they're hot now, they don't look as good. But they're not no sick ones here. You haven't seen nothing with cold. I don't Neither let nobody, can. I don't let nobody come here. Without disinfecting their feet, I didn't you, and I don't know why. I forgot, to be honest. Uh -oh. But I don't let nobody come on my property without disinfecting their feet. And their feet. You have not seen a sick chicken, and you will not see one here. Que no hay aquí Look at him. You tell me if you see one sneeze in your the eye, or I'm going to make you stay on the car in here, oh, because yes, they're growing. Look at that kill those tall legs. There goes another one right there. You see him? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yeah. Beautiful. Look wow. at that. Them tall oh, bullets. Look, the bosque here. The, look, they're in the jungle. They're raised like the Yucatan. Que como Yucatan. Yeah. You been to Yucatan? I said, well, I've been there. This is just like the Yucatan. Go in. I can stop. No, I'm good. There's a tapi over there. Pull it. Wow, beautiful. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you, yeah. I'll, I don't want to get off. Uh, yeah, I don't want you to either. Yeah. I don't know where you've been today. Yes, sir. I don't know where you've been today. Yes, sir. You know, coriza, that's how it gets spread more than anything. It's really? Your shoes. Dice que la coriza se, se mueve mucho por, por los zapatos. Your shoes and your clothes. Once you get it, it's in the ground. You can't hardly get rid of it. You, you got a big pond in there, right? Huh? You got a big pond in there? Yeah, but... They don't drink that well. We give them fresh water. So the, the heater, what are the heaters for? The what? The they, gas heaters. They're for the babies. You put them in there one week or one day. I got shavings in there. Que tiene aquí calentones de gas para los pollitos. I guess that cold here, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah. 20 bajo cero Fahrenheit llegó aquí. Wow. And a few a <laughs> Maybe 10 or 15 a It's beautiful here. Beautiful, uh -huh. beautiful. That's all my land, everything. And then you get the back. Aquí viene 150 hectáreas. There's a few yellow legs in here. These are the latest babies. These are the last ones I put out. They're about eight weeks old. Right here. I ran out of big hunt, but it was warm, so I put them in the little house. The little one. And that's gray. That's one of your blade grays? Yeah, always blade gray. Always blade gray. A lot of blade grays. Look how healthy the blade grays are. You don't have too many environment problems here? I got 2,000 boats in that fence all the way around. <laughs> you see it? Que tiene dos este voltios. Dogs in here and a good rifle. I just took it off. Yeah. Up here in these? Yeah. Up here in these, that's not good. Those right there, then I put rock all around it where it won't be muddy. I saw that your brute pens have rock. 
Rocco? Huh? Your blueprints have rock in them, why? Keep the mud out. Mud bad for them or what? No, mud's a problem here in Kentucky. I don't like mud all over everything. It's on the feet, the eggs, the right. chicken. Can they put a piedra because there's a lot of here in Kentucky? You'd be surprised the rocks don't hurt your feet. I thought it no. might, no. I think you get bubble foot, don't you? No. no. healthier here than they are in uh, Louisiana? Yeah, I think so. How about Oklahoma? Oklahoma is about the same as here. But healthier than Louisiana though? Yeah, Louisiana is like Mexico, too close to the border. You get, you know, birds, a lot of birds coming in. Too much rain too, no? Yeah, it rains a lot in Kentucky. More than I thought. Que le gusta más aquí que Louisiana y Kentucky que Oklahoma para crear. You know, gray chickens are more healthy than reds. Really? Yes. A little gray blood in them makes them way more healthy than red. See, the same age, the sweater will be not real red face. The gray will have real red faces. They eat the same thing. On the white, is there new blood in it? New blood, and the gray blood strong, strong for real healthy things. Most of the gray blood, that white leg will be a topic, but he ain't got no top now. You see? Okay, yeah. Uh, this is your suit? 
Toppies and Bush Toppies, same thing, right? They're coming with Junior, right? Yeah, they all came. See, some here, they live with Junior. Junior and the cross of his was round head. I don't have no round head. I used to a long, long time ago, but I don't have no more. more. No. They were good, real good, man. I just didn't keep them. I, I got one rooster from Junior. I never did go back because a lot of people, if I got them, they want to buy them, and that's not my chicken, they're Junior's chickens, you know what I mean? Well, you got a car around here? I have a lot of people. I did, a little while. But I got it because everybody wanted to buy them. And I said, no, again, Junior gave me the rooster. You know what I mean? Right. And it's like the copy, you know, I never got it. Here's the copy. Eh, el regazo es para mantenernos calientes en el tiempo de invierno. Aquí hace mucho frío, señor. Si tiene 5,000 hasta octubre, también mantiene los hijos también.
También, este, ahí, ahí tenemos ahí por inbox los números que me quedan todavía de la rifa, todavía quedan números. A mí me quedan como unos 20 números todavía. Se va a correr el sábado, vale 40 dólares o 750 pesos. Tenemos Paypal, tenemos Banamex, Bancomer, lo que se quiera. Saludos a Clavo. Ah, sí, saludos para Clavo también. Saludos desde Estados Unidos, México, Gran Cantama. Ahorita vamos a regresar a la casa. Compañeros, ahorita regresamos. Voy a ponerle pausa a este video y regresamos en unos 15 minutos para que estén ahí atentos para para la entrevista, donde usted, usted también puede, van a poder preguntarle cosas a Señor Ding. Adiós, compañeros.